San Diego Mountain on the east bank of the Rio Grande marked the location of the Pajare de San Diego, one of the Spanish campsites along the El Camino Real de Tierra Adentro in the Horonado del Muerto. Onward and upward. The Pajare was located just north of the mountain when it was the last place to obtain water from the Rio Grande. I would imagine that that's where they came down, right over in there somewhere. And that's the north side of the mountain, so I imagine they came down right through there somewhere. And the river used to come back this way further and then turn back. They got it, when, when the irrigation district came in, they rerouted the, the river and instead of making it like a wild river, a lot of places just to like a big irrigation ditch really. Oh, car's been here for a while. I found it last year. Ah, that's one of those for those meth heads used. Oh, somebody had a COVID, COVID vaccination record card. Charles Chacon, nine, date of birth, 925, 1981. Druggies, druggies. What would you do if you found an old car like this out away from everything like this place? And you found like a hundred thousand dollars in it, like a bag of money. What would you do? Maybe there's a body in the back seat or in the back in the trunk. Oh well, I got other things to do. See, I've been up in these mountains several times before, but the last time I was up here, I discovered something that I've never seen before, and I'm going to take you guys and show it to you. It's pretty interesting. I'm sure that those old, whatever you call them, those caravans or whatever traveling to Santa Fe or traveling back from Santa Fe to Mexico City that's where they turned down and went down to the river and got water but we're gonna turn and go up this canyon this is a beautiful beautiful canyon I've been up it a lot of times and the last time I came up here was with my son-in-law and my nephew I found something I'd never seen before I've walked past it a bunch of times so I'm gonna go show you guys and then after we take a look at that I got another place I want to go look at that's that's really really cool and uh, yeah we'll see there's a lot of deer in here and there's lions in here from time to time I caught a lion in here one time I have no idea how over the years I missed this. Well, there's something right there. Written on that rock right there. But that's just a little something. You gotta check out this. There's some more, look, they're everywhere. We gotta get out and look. Let me get Agnes in a good spot. Whoa. Look at that, what is that? I still believe, it's my theory, that these guys were guarding the canyon somehow. They were in here watching for enemies or anything coming up the canyon. That's my theory. They get bored and they start doodling. We do the same thing. We don't guard canyons, but we doodle. That's an alien right there. What's the green from? 
that a fish? There's a circle. foot and what would this be it's crazy huh look at Agnes look at here's some more how did they reach those that's etched pretty deep Look at the little head right there. Look at that. And this little head on this. It's crazy. to mean something doesn't it like that I mean this one right here seems like it's got to mean something not just doodling Right here we come out of this canyon, start working our way up. <clears throat> There's a little old, old road up there. I don't even know if anybody, I don't think anybody can get up to it anymore. But we're gonna go across and up and then back down. I got something else I wanna show you. Looks like rain. It's a good thing I brought my raincoat. I think it is gonna rain. It was only like a 30% chance. This is a mine. I think they mined fluorite, fluorite, whatever that is. Come on, Uno, let's get out of here. Come on, Uno! I don't know. Last week I climbed Cook's Peak. Pretty steep, hand over hand for a long ways. Not a long ways, but for a ways. It didn't bother me. These cave holes, they bother me just a bit. I get real claustrophobic when I get inside them. I can't help it. It's just like, ah. 
starts tightening in on me. I'm gonna take that trail because it leads to somewhere. Well, I know it leads to somewhere, but you can see where they built up the sides so it didn't cave in back in the old days. So I'll see what it leads to. My raincoat. See how they kind of stacked rocks in these washouts? So it leads to somewhere, probably another big old mine over here, maybe just a little mine. But I know it's old because it's not a it's not a driving road. This might have been another route that grandma used to get to the grocery store. Or it might be the route the lion used to go kill a deer. That's it. Let me, let's see. What do I need? Get my, what is it? Olite. Olite. Olite Seeker 3. It's a good one. Oh. warm in here I mean really hot and it's and it stinks oh no man That's far enough for me. Dang. I'm right here, Agnes. I'm coming out. I don't like mine shafts any more than I like caves. Well, it's still early. I was gonna cook. But, let's ride on across the mountain. There's some more things to look at on the other side. Let's go have a look-see. Look how they just mine the side of that mountain out. Big old holes in it. Finally started to rain a little bit. Now supposedly that draw right there coming out of the flats up there and then going down, that is Cook's Cutoff, I think. It's pretty neat country right down in here. I think I'll ride the top, come down and fall off on that other side. I caught a lion right on the other side of this little knoll right here one time. We trailed him up out of the bottom and caught him up there on the side. He'd killed a javelina or ate a javelina. Oh, okay. I, uh... I cleaned out my saddlebags. And usually uh, I have uh, lighters stashed all over the place and I guess I didn't put any back in there. I brought me a little steak to cook on the fire but I don't have no way to make fire. But I remembered I got this little doodad here. You can sharpen your knife with it. It's got a file and it's got one of these little fire starter sticks. Now it rained so I don't know if I can get this done. But I'm going to see if this old dry grass will spark up and get started. I've never done this before, so we'll see.
wanting to. I got an idea. I sure would like to have my steak. This is a face mask. I don't know why I had it. Never wore those dang things anyway. Let's see if that does any good. There we go. I had a flame. worn out. It burns, but it won't stay lit. I think everything's just a little too damp. Maybe. I don't know. I had a flame. Maybe. <laughs> I got it, boy. We're gonna have steak. Go on, go on. No, 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 this is mine. It's mine, you know. I can hear it cooking. Trying to rain a little bit again. Raining all around us. Now we got big old hail balls coming down on us. This wood didn't want to burn very good. Oh yeah, she's cooking. It's coming this way. Don't get off, Agnes. Gonna have to hurry up, it's fixing the rain. Oh, Agnes. She's just looking for food. Same as me. Amen. Nah, it's a little raw. Hold on. A little seasoning. Yeah. No. Oh, man. Agnes, you ready to get out of here? It's 
starts to rain a little bit and those dogs ball up and get underneath a bush. I'm gonna have to try to go out and down off of this mountain, see if I can figure out a way to loop back and find my way back through that fence. There's a fence over there. Ow! Ugh. Well, don't have to worry about that fire getting out of control. We're gonna have to figure out how to get out of here. Here we go, Agnes. Let's try it again. Just watch your step. Somebody made me a gate. I know there's another gate up there at the Highline Wires, or a, a real gate. I don't know how many miles I went, but I covered that whole mountain range except for the front side, or what would be the west side. I don't like cave holes or mine shafts. I like looking at those petroglyphs. Got a little wet, got a fire, had a good steak. Man, it was a good day. Oh, I forgot, Merry Christmas. You'll probably see this video on Christmas Eve. So I hope you're gathered around, eating and drinking, enjoying family. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching my videos. And re just remember the reason for the season. Merry Christmas.